What is going on everyone? Derek Hudson here and this past week, another epic week in fishing because we just had the ICAST show. For those of you that don't know what the ICAST show is, it is one of the biggest fishing expos, probably the biggest, um, but I know for a fact it's one of the biggest. Uh, ICAST is a fishing expo for the saltwater, freshwater, and fly fishing community to release a lot of the new hot and coming products or being released at ICAST to be available right then. Um, really cool show. Happens in Orlando, Florida every year. It used to happen in Las Vegas. Now it's in Orlando, Florida. But um, I've been there the past two years. And this year, because of financial cuts, I couldn't make it. But I found out I can cover most of the ICAST show just from social media and YouTube and um, just all the, the people just chattering on uh, that I, f I follow that are uh, friends of mine of the sport and and just people I know. Uh, and the ICAST does a good job covering their own show. So I got a really good look at what is coming. And that's what this video is about. Uh, you may not have the time to scour through all these posts and to look at all the different companies and, and see what, what they're releasing at ICAST. So I'm putting it all right here in one video. So stay tuned. Uh, you're you're gonna see some things you're like, wow, pretty excited about. And and this is not a video of just uh, expensive items. This is gonna be stuff down to uh, a couple dollars to really expensive stuff. So there's all kinds of stuff for everyone out there in this video coming soon in the fishing industry, uh, specifically bass fishing. Um, I know fly fishing and saltwater have their own um, their own parts of this of this show, uh, but I mainly focused on bass fishing because that's where my following and that's where my community is. So uh, stay tuned. You're gonna see some hotness from the ICAST show 2024. So let's get into it. But first, let's take a minute to share with you the Angler's Choice Marine Boat of the Week. This is a 2024 Ranger Z518 that is loaded with Lowrance Ghost trolling motor and Lowrance electronics and all the bells and whistles you know and love from Ranger boats. This boat comes with an instant $3,500 rebate and a newly reduced price. This boat is ready to get on the water and to catch you some fish. Beautiful blue and charcoal colors and the Mercury Pro XS200 that everyone loves. Get it today at anglerschoicemarine.com. So first things first, forward-facing sonar. Forward-facing sonar is the hot ticket in bass fishing right now. Everybody wants a piece of it, whether it's in lure design, uh, fishing line design, uh, 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 electronics, a new sense. There's just, everybody's, putting all their chips in on forward-facing sonar. So let's start with forward-facing sonar. So um, for those of y'all that don't know what forward-facing sonar is, it is a technology that has come into bass fishing in the past five, really known for about the past five years, um, to be able to see fish ahead of you. See the fish, see how they react to your lures, uh, was before five years ago it was no no way to do that other than clear water and you can actually physically with sunglasses see the fish um and i used to love that i used to love sight fishing before four face sonar was a thing great sunglasses like these wiley x um sunglasses these are the founders will allow you in that clear water to see fish way ahead of you and catch them and i loved doing that so obviously when four face sonar come out I'm a fan, instant fan. I love the technology, it's really cool. But, Lowrance has come out with a new um, unit in forward-facing sonar that is for the entry-level angler. Only $9.95, so under $1,000, you can get into the forward-facing game with a nine-inch unit, not a small unit, a nine-inch unit. This is gonna be phenomenal for kayak anglers that don't have it yet. Um, this is gonna be phenomenal for people that are rigging out a 10 boat or 
or a, you know, smaller, older um, bass boat, and they're like, I don't have that much in the boat. Why would I put a lot of money into electronics? This is your deal. So Lowrance has come out with this new, I'm pretty sure it's called the Eagle Eye uh, Fish Finder for $9.95 that has forward facing sonar. It also has everything else you want, structure scan, down scan, uh, all that, but it has forward facing sonar. I know on my boat, the forward facing sonar box and transducer alone, and that's not even the graphs, the screens, nothing. That's just the computer that processes forward face sonar. It's $1,500 by itself. So, Lowrance, you nailed it. You're giving it to people that didn't have a chance to get it before. Really cool by Lowrance. Um, and then also Lowrance released the new trolling motor. They've got a new trolling motor out. So, uh, I ran the Lowrance Ghost before I got into the Power Pole Move. And I love the Power Pole Move. An amazing trolling motor and I actually loved the Lorenz Ghost but the main complaint I had with the Lorenz Ghost was not a moving head it didn't have a moving head the Minn Kota Old Tracks and Quest had it uh, the Powerpole Move has it uh, and I wanted an oscillating head because what you get when you have an oscillating head is you have true direction on where your fish is it does not matter um, like the Lorance Ghost had an indicator, if that indicator got messed up, you were dead in the water on being able to point at those fish with forward-facing sonar. So, Lorance noticed that. Lorance took that and a lot more technology and put it into a new trolling motor called the Recon. Tell you what, it looks pretty bad. It looks pretty awesome. So, uh, Lorance coming out with some new forward-facing hotness. Uh, no real surprise there. Uh, I didn't really see if Garmin had done anything this year. Um, I just noticed Lowrance, uh, a few of my uh, fellow compadres, uh, sponsored by Lowrance, showing the hotness. Um, but Lowrance, you did it. You come up with some really cool stuff. Really cool troll motor, the oscillating head, smart move, and an entry level forward facing sonar. Genius. So, that's where we're going to start. Lowrance, you did it. Good job. Next one, Power Pole. Power Pole, as you all know, from Florida, the inventors of the shallow water anchor, because there's a lot of shallow water in Florida, uh, but you do not see a bass boat without some kind of shallow water anchor on there anymore, just about. I mean, when you fish lower tournaments, you'll find some old boats that don't have it every once in a while. And I still don't understand that. Um, if I had an older uh, Stratus with a, a Johnson on it, I still would be trying to get some power poles on my boat. Because l- let me tell you, they are ridiculously useful. Um, I, I just from the simple fact of launching your boat by yourself, if you're going fishing and you love to fish and you do a lot by yourself, launching your boat and putting your boat back in, um, back on the trailer Um, it's just, it's so nice. Just pull up, push a button, boom, hop out. Your boat's anchored. It's going to stay right there by the dock. You, you come back down, you you push the button, you, you drive it on trailer. It's so easy. And I don't know how many times fishing shallow water, um, that dropping those poles helped me to fish a piece of structure that I've caught a fish off of that I probably would have not got as many casts as I did to catch that fish without those power poles so power poles from power pole um the the blades is what i've got they they they're just a staple in the fishing industry right now but power pole is coming out with some new stuff so they've got a longer shaft power pole move that's the new trolling motor that i've been running that thing is lightweight thing is strong that thing is ridiculously good and dependable um but they've come out with a longer shaft version for your pontooners, for your deep V saltwater boats, they've come out with some longer shaft versions for those. I mean, I'm talking uh, almost as long as my boat shafts. I mean, just ridiculously long. Um, so if you're in, if you're a, a person that has a boat that's like that, and if you you know you've got a nice saltwater boat, and you're like, dude, I'd love a light trolling motor with a long shaft to go on it. Power pole move got you. Um, but 
the power pole geniuses over there came out with the one pump. So it's always been one pump, pump per power pole. So my boat has two power poles, one on each side. And what that does, if you have one pole and it drops down into the water, it's just one anchor. So it, the boat can, no matter what the current is, can spin around on that one pole. But when you drop two in the water, it's locked. It's, it, it'll shift a little bit left or right, depending on heavy current winds like that, but it ain't moving much because the two poles drove into the ground, or oh, into the water, um, and it'll, it'll lock you down. What the, the thing is, is that we've always had to run, if you're on two poles, you have two pumps, two separate pumps. So they've got rid of two pumps and they've gone to, if you're on two poles, you can run it off of one extra strong pump now. And that's really cool because it's gonna lay, it's gonna allow you to um, save space in your compartment, your battery storage compartment. So um, great job, Power Pole coming out with another product to help us maximize our space on our boats because let's let's be honest boats are not changing a whole lot every year like the diagram of a boat if you just think of the silhouette of a boat they're not really changing much so a 21 foot boat across the the uh industry they, they might be a little wider they might be a little narrower but they're still 21 foot period and their whole inside is not really um the, the amount of space you get out of it, it's not really changing much. It's like the same cookie cutter apartment uh, with the amount of space it has. And there's nothing you can do about that. But this power pole, one pump will give us some more space. And that's always a, a benefit. I mean, you can just, you have more space for a spare prop or an extra battery or whatever. Um, just tackle storage, anything that you're doing. Uh, that's just going to make your apartment uh on the water that much more efficient so really great job by power pole coming out with the, that one pump i'm excited to get one on my next boat or or retrofitting this boat with one the next thing is sea clear power let's stick with the boating and the forward facing sonar industry sea clear power i've been running on my boat for multiple years sea clear power is a heavy gauge wire to give you the cleanest power from your battery to your electronics, no matter the distance. Um, if you have your batteries in the very back of a big boat and you have your electronics in the very front, if you have a bigger gauge wire, uh, you're going to get the cleanest power you can to those units, make them run more efficiently, uh, cooler, um, allow your battery to not be drained as much throughout the day. There's so many benefits to running a heavy gauge wire from your batteries to your electronics well c clear power um came out with a kayak harness they they realized that the kayak industry is growing so fast it's such a big industry right now and they came out with a kayak harness for all you kayakers out there that want the cleanest power to your forward face and sonar electronics. And a lot of you don't want to run forward face sonar. A lot of you do, uh, run in standard units because um, y'all are mainly shallow fishermen getting in the back of nowhere um, style anglers. Still, you're going to get faster processing, uh, better maps, uh, uh, better down scan and structure scan and all that stuff. You're gonna get better power to your units with that package. Um, Another thing they came out with this year is they had set links for big boats, right? Well, they came out with a jumper, smaller pack. So if you already have a Sea Clear Power harness installed and you're like, hey, I, I want to just run a little further, they have that now. Um, if you are just running, you just want to put the battery, you want to have a dedicated battery to your forward facing sonar units on the front deck. Um, and you just want to run it to your rod locker, your storage locker up front. Um, that's what that shorter uh, system is for. So they're trying to fill all of those voids where people didn't have the, the cleanest power system harness for their units. 
they're trying to fill all those voids and they are doing it. So see clear power, um, check them out. If you are, if you have a, uh, kayak or you just need a shorter, you know, uh, extension from your rod locker to your units, check them out. They're coming out with some new hotness. So see clear power. Um, they got you covered. The next one. So now we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna back up a little bit and get to the 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 things that are the nitty gritties in, in fishing. This is the stuff that's sometimes overlooked. Sometimes wins tournaments and people, you know, when they uh, uh, look at the details, they they don't even think of these little things. So uh, first thing is line. Line is arguably. I mean, if you if you threw a poll out there of uh, most important thing in fishing, um, there's gonna be a lot of people that debate this, but it it's the real deal. Line is the only connector from you to the fish that could win that tournament, uh, and a lot of times, multiple uh, big tournaments, it's multiple fish. So if your line is a little funky and you miss, you know, you have five or six fish that break off or lost. <laughs> it's gonna be a huge difference in your standings. Uh, us pros know that, um, but a lot of people would debate that lines, nah, not that big a deal. I can just go get me some, uh, you know, uh, cheap, you know, local drugstore line, and boom, I'll, I'll be a great fisherman. No, line is super important. And uh, anybody tells you any differently, they probably haven't had those situations where they landed that five pounder that won the tournament or got them an amazing big check that that one fish would have kept them out of the money and they landed it when their line was uh, around poles and, and super tore up and they still landed that fish. That's when I know, I've done that m more times than I can count that's when I know that line is that important when it when it does those things. So, Seagar coming out with uh, a new entry level fluorocarbon leader because um, I use Tatsu. Seagar Tatsu is what I use, um, and it is their highest end, most expensive uh, fluorocarbon they have. I use that, but I. I'm putting uh, $80,000 as a winning prize in every big tournament I fish. Um, the championship, if I, I go to it in two months, $200 plus thousand dollars. Um, so to me, spending uh, $50 on a spool of line that is going to last me for tons of liters um, is, is, you know, it's, it's justified in my opinion. To, to go ahead and spend that money for that. So that's why I use Tatsu a lot. Um, but there's some of you that just want an awesome leader to be able to go fishing um, and not break the bank on it. And they they answered you. They gave you pounce is the line. Pounce, pounce I'm pretty sure is the way they pronounce it. Um, it's an orange box, super smart of them to come out with uh entry level uh fluorocarbon leader line uh that has high abrasion resistance high knot strength everything you want in a leader line is in a cheaper more affordable version i, I don't even like the word cheaper because i i know cigar i've used their basics which is their entry level um fluorocarbon for your, your rods, reels, you know, not as a leader. Uh, that stuff is $9.95. Um, and it's not sacrificing anything. I've had times that I couldn't hardly break off of a stump with 15 pound test. It's still just amazing, strong, great castable line. Um, yes, it is the cheaper or less expensive of uh, their, their levels, but they still, they're not gonna put out a crap product. They're not gonna put out something that you um, call complaining every other week uh, as that people purchasing it. Hey, this stuff sucks. Hey, this stuff sucks. They're not gonna do that. They don't want a bad reputation. They've built a great reputation and they wanna keep that. So they're making great products. 
but they answered you, gave you an entry level fluorocarbon leader um, uh, box. I think it's 25 yards or something like that. But it's, I don't even remember the price, uh, what they said the price was. It's like $749 or something like that. It's, it's super low. Um, don't quote me on that, but it's, it's very affordable. Anybody can afford it. Um, it's just like buying some, uh, a little meal at Sheets. You can get it guaranteed. Um, really cool. Seaguar put that out there, but also Seaguar's coming out with some amazing line storage solutions. That's been a problem that I've had for many years. I've got a really cool tote that carries all my Seaguar line. I had to make it out of uh, uh, rod tubes and glue it together and cut it all together and make it. Um, and I got a nice Plano tote with all my lines, but still, in my boat, I don't have any good solutions for it. Um, I actually just throw them in a, a, a I think it's a Plano, like a thick plastic bag. Um, I throw them in there sometimes. Sometimes I'll throw them in there loose. No real good solutions. Seaguar, thank you. I, I actually didn't say anything to you. So I, I, you must have been reading my mind, knowing I needed that solution, and you gave it to us. So thank you, Seaguar for that, um, giving us some line storage solutions. Really cool, we got all the way from big bulk, um, like almost like a, it looks kind of like a real storage bag. If you've ever seen them, the real storage bags that are about this thick, you know, they're kind of squarish uh, shaped. Um, it, you, you'll see a picture here, but that storage solution, um, I don't know why I was describing it. I'm going to, I'm going to stitch all of these pictures and everything into this video. So just, just discredit me trying to explain to you what it looks like because you just saw it. Um, but super cool uh, line storage solutions from Seaguar coming out soon. Uh, need to check that out. Really excited about those. Uh, all the way from little leader lines up to bulk lines. They've got you covered with some great storage solutions um next talk about missile baits so missile baits uh they're coming out with a three inch spunk shad because minnow baits right now are all the rage everybody wants them everybody's throwing them forward facing sonar they are dominating so minnow baits Missile got you covered with a three inch spunk shad. They had all the sizes above that, but they went down to a small little bitty three inch. So you can do that really finesse, uh, Demiki rigging style, uh, moping, whatever they stroll and all that different stuff. You can do it with the little spunk shad. But the one that really, I personally am getting the most excited about is Missile has come out with the Micro D-Bomb. Their D-Bomb is one of their bread and butters from many years that has just, I don't even know if I know anybody that doesn't have a pack of D-Bombs. Uh, it's a flipping bait that is a killer. Well, they've had the D-Bomb for all these years, but they decided to make it into a micro, little bitty version. And I've been doing a lot of Ned rigging in the past two years, a lot, because it catches fish. It, it's just like the Demikis and, and um, Drop Shot and all that stuff. It's, it catches fish. It's just a small little bait. It doesn't make the fish nervous. They bite it. So the Micro D-Bomb is going to be a killer Ned Rig bait because it's got a pretty substantial little bit of plastic. It's kind of, for a, such a micro bait, it's got a pretty substantial amount of plastic, um, but it's still in that D-bomb um, claw pattern where it's just straight. There's no no uh, flanges or nothing to make it kick. So it's just gonna, it's just gonna glide. It's just gonna glide and when it hits the bottom, it's gonna just do the little quivers it does. Um, it's gonna be real subtle. It's going to be amazing Ned Rig um, bait. But it's also going to be used a lot in uh, drop shotting and 
the micro jigs and all of those different things. It's gonna be great for all of those things too. But for a Ned rig bait, catch you a lot of fish, uh, whether you're a professional angler or below um, in your skill level, these are going to be a player. A lot of great colors, really small little package, uh, kind of finesse um, well, definitely finesse, but this little bait is going to be a staple in my fishing for the next couple years, for sure. Uh, I love their magic worms. Finesse, catch a lot of fish, cannot brag on them enough. They've put a lot of paychecks in my um, bank account, but this is going to be another tool to do the same thing. So the micro D-bomb, you need to check that out from Missile. Also, Shimano. Shimano is coming out with a new Vanford. And I I got to watch the, the video where uh, JP DeRose was talking about what Shimano is doing over there. And it's really cool. So they come out with some awesome technology. Every year, they're they're reinventing. They're they're looking at different ways to make this better, that better. Uh, your drag smoother, your drag's longer lasting, your um, your reeling to actually be smoother, uh, less uh, longer lasting, and 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 less grit to get up in it. And, and they're always they're just they're just coming out with different. It, they're they're evolving and broadening their technology every single year well a lot of times that stuff comes out in this specific reel so they they come out with this new uh drag system and they put it in this specific reel that they release well the other reels that are staples and have got just great stuff and, and people are loving everything about it um those things don't get the new stuff a lot of times right well Listening to J.P. DeRose talk, Shimano is very much forward thinking in let's give this technology to this product and to this product and let's make these products better. And we, if we change this a little bit, if we change this a little bit, boom, we got a better product. They did it with the Vanford. So the new Vanford coming out has got a new and improved drag system, has got a new improved um, uh internal uh gear system it's got just new improved things all throughout it so that's why people love the vanford i've got seven of them i love the reel amazing reels uh, but they're just making it that much better they're just adding these technologies to make it that much better but the cool thing is when they're doing that they're not raising the price so, same Vanford price, same reel we love, but now it's got some extra bells and whistles to make it even that much better. So, Shimano, you're doing some, you got a great business model over there. You're coming out with just, you're not, you're not going way off in left field trying stuff. I'm sure you're doing it behind the scenes, but you are figuring out what works, what works great, how to make it better, how to improve on it, and then you're giving it to us the way we want it in awesome products. Thank you, Shimano, for doing that. Um, the Vanford reel, thank you for not making the, pro I mean, you've added stuff to an awesome reel. And as we know, as buyers, most time when something gets improved, the price gets improved right up. And y'all didn't do that. Really cool. I appreciate y'all for doing that. Keeping the price, uh, where it is and giving us some new hotness out of it that is so cool um very proud to use your products now that i hear uh, jp talk about that's what y'all do um excited to get my hands on the new vanfords looking forward to uh get some they got new slx reel coming too um but as much as the scope of bass fishing is turning to uh the forward facing sonar game and finesse game because a lot of places we go are pressured lakes and finesse is where it's at. So, uh, really excited about that. Um, thank you, Shimano, for just 
being classy about it and, and doing it right and, and not, you know, making us pay an extra $20 or extra $40 per person to get the cool hotness that you're coming out with. Thank you for doing that the way you did it. I uh, appreciate that, Shimano. So, move on to the next one. Um, uh, Missile Baits came out with the Hover Missile. Hover Rigs, uh, to those of you that don't know, uh, is a style of jig head that allows a minnow style bait to not have like a regular jig head where it's the weights in front of the bait and the bait just kind of keels down or, you know, as you're pulling it, it does like this. They've put the weight a little bit back from the head. And what that does is it allows it to do more of a spiral down. And then also when you're twitching it from the front, it wants to dance. Um, the hover missiles to come out by uh, missile baits, phenomenal. This last tournament we fished at Bugs Island, uh, one of our key fish the second day came on that bait. Uh, there was a big wolf pack of fish I threw over there and hooked up immediately. Um, super sharp Gamaka two hooks. Check them out. Missile baits just came out with them. But do it molds. Not sponsored by them. Uh, just n notice that they, they have uh, a new product coming out that gives you the ability to make your own hover rigs. Uh, so that's cool. You can put whatever hook you want into it. If you love Gamakatsu hooks, uh, you should probably check out those uh, missile ones, uh, the hover missiles. I, I know the hooks are super strong, uh, just a great pre-made package. But if you want to do some uh, nifty little things and, and maybe modify the, the mold a little bit and put some new hooks or your special hooks that you've got in the mold, Do It Molds is coming out with a new hover jig mold. Uh, so that's really cool. They're, they're seeing how much of a uh, desire for that product that there is out there, and they've made you a mold for it so you can pour your own. So Do It Molds, pretty cool. And then Spike It. Spike It has come out with some new forward-facing uh, scents. Uh, I, got, I actually got to see this um, from my good buddy Jerry that I got to do the high school uh, camp with. Um, Jerry is just just a cool dude, sponsored by Spike It, and he had a product that he was showing that was getting ready to release at iCast, and uh, I actually didn't see any coverage of it. I, I don't know why it didn't pop up in you know, my feed or radar. I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm following Spike It, um, but it never showed up. Uh, but they've got some new scents for forward-facing sonar. And what I mean by new scents for forward-facing sonar is they're adding metal flake to their scents so that when you throw it out there, it's giving a louder return. So instead of your bait being a faint blimp, you know, 80 feet out there where you can barely see your bait and you're kind of looking, you're kind of looking at the staring screen real hard and you're like, where's my bait at? I see the fish, I can't see the bait. It's changing that to where the bait is really, really bright way out there. So that's really cool. Spike it, getting on the forward face sonar bandwagon. A lot of companies are doing that. They're starting to change their business model to we need forward face sonar baits. We need forward face sonar um, products, period. I don't know why I said baits. Um, Spike it, you did it. Good job. Good, good, good use of resources to get on that because that's where the evolution of bass fishing is going. So, I'm sure there was a lot of great more products out there at iCast, uh, but these are the ones that I kind of like, you know, I, a lot of these companies had a lot more stuff they released. But these are the ones that really made me excited. And I want to share them with you um, just because I know a lot of you don't have the time to scour through those social media posts or didn't have the money to go to iCast or, or, or in the same situation I am. But I, being deep in the fishing industry now from being a pro for a few years. Uh, I, I was able to keep up with that stuff, share it with you all. I hope you like this video. Uh, be looking forward to this stuff coming out soon, if not already come out. I'm sure a lot of it has already come out. Uh, Angler's Choice Marine has the acmtackle.com tackle store online. 
So no matter where you are in the country, you can get you these new products from acmtackle.com. And if you use code DH10, you can get 10% off of those new hot products. So win-win. Check them out at acmtackle.com. The new hotness from iCast coming soon, if not already released. Check them out. Thank you all for watching. Thank you all for the support. Please hit that like button. Please comment down below. Tell me what you think of all these products. Uh, please share in the comments products that I may have overlooked and missed. I'm always liking to, loving to see the, the new hotness. So please comment below. Tell me what you think. Tell me what the, the um, products you're most excited about are. Down in the comments below. Thank you all so much. Love you all. God bless you all. And have a great summer.